Hey everyone, back again here. I'm going to continue on forms. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a file upload and how do you manipulate that file that you push through the form into your server or onto your server or onto a directory on the server. <laughs> Basically on the server. So uh, we're going to be starting off a new blank page again. Uh, in this case it's going to be base 12 for me. Another thing that you're going to need to do is make a folder called upload. Uh, I'm going to refresh my page here. and You're going to see this folder is called upload. So I have base 12 and I have my upload. Uh, depending on your server, you might have to change permissions of the upload file, and right now I'm not going to worry about that until that issue comes up. Uh, so let's get started here. So first off, we're going to need a form. Uh, we're going to go down here, and we're going to start this out actually off just like our last one, where we have a true-false. Upload complete equals true, or equals false. So, do 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 now, that'll be our main trigger here between the two if statements. So we're going to go if is set, or whoops, if upload is complete, then we want it to output a success message, successful message. Do else do the following, and that will be our form. Oop, there we go. All right, so right here we're going to do a success message. P file uploaded successfully there we go and okay so now we need to build a form to do our form we're going to start it off like the last time method method is equal to post uh, next off we're going to need our uh, and it won't pop up here I'm trying to ink type uh, encryption type or what type of data is going to be sent in this case we're going to be doing multi-part uh, because we're sending a file with it, not just plain text in our inputs. So we're going to go multi-part form data. Count that over. Do form. All right. So now we're just uh, I'm going to set a p tag here. And we're going to say select file, or we're just going to set file. Okay. From that p tag, we need to make an input. Uh, the type's going to actually be set to file. Now we're going to call file a little bit different because you can't use post, you can't use request for these. It's actually a special special field in PHP to pull. Uh, we need a name for it. Uh, we're going to start with the name is upload me. <laughs> Doop. There we go. And then we just finally need a submit. And we're going to go input type submit. I'm just going to go value submit. I'm not really worried about it because I'm not done. I'm not trying to show you validation in this case. I'm trying to show you how to move a file and validate that file and not the form. So we have our basics set there, so let's go basics 12. All right, we have our file, we have our submit. Now, when we submit, we need to check this. So if is set file, so files is what it's going to be called. That means you can upload multiple files at once, but I'm not, right now I'm going to show you a single, and if I have time, I'll show you multiple. So we're going to go files, and we need to name it the same. So upload me. Do, do, do. So if it is set, and and then we're going to go upload, or actually we're just going to go if it is set, doop, and I just want to show you what it actually sends to the server when you upload a file, so let's go right here, and we're going to go echo, actually we're just going to do the PHP tags, the way I've been showing you the quick way of doing this real quick, so PRE, PRE, and we're going to go print R on two files here. Doot doot. Upload me. And as you can tell, it's that secondary bracket there. Not supposed to be doing that. There we go. All right. So right now what I'm going to do is upload, uh, echo out what is uploaded as a file here from what I submit. So if I click refresh again, just make sure the file is up to date. I need to choose a file. So we're just going to go to my desktop real quick and we're going to... We'll use a little thumbnail I've been using for some of my pictures. Okay, so upon my submit, I have it right here. It says array. I used the, my file was called gcrop. Uh, the type was a PNG. Uh, temp name. Temp name is the location that's stored on your server. So uh, every server will make a temp name for it because it's currently pending until that session closes or the server deletes it after a certain amount of time. Um, currently, error. There's no errors at the moment. And then the size will tell me my size. And that's actually in bits, so it's, it's less than a megabyte, so I'm not too worried about going into detail on that part. Yeah. So now we know what are things going to echo out for us. 
So from what we know, we know we have a name, we have a type, we have an error, we have a size. So in this check, when I upload, I need to verify that I actually have a size for it. So we need to make sure they didn't upload a blank file. Because I can click the submit without selecting a file and nothing will be there. And then we'll try to echo it out and nothing will be there. Again, nothing will be there. <laughs> so we're going to go and right here onto this. We're going to go files. And we're going to use upload me. And then next, since it's an array, we're going to go size. And we're going to make sure it's greater than zero. So right now we're checking make sure upload is set. And then we're making sure upload me or the upload file, uploaded file, it has a size greater than zero. So, now we know that. So after we check for the size, we're going to check for the target directory that we want to push it to, and then we're going to pull it from the temp along with check the extension. Now, to first start off, we need to make our target directory. So I'm just going to make a thing called target, target directory, which is equal to, I want it to go to upload, the folder that I had you create right here, that should be next to net, under or higher up than that file that we just created. So we need to make, make sure it goes to upload. So we're gonna go here and go upload. Notice that I did not set a forward slash in front of it. Main reason why is if I set a forward slash in front, it thinks it's going to the root directory of your drive, uh, especially in Linux. Windows is a little bit different and you might have to change some of this up. Right now I'm trying to go off of Linux, so I'm going off that standard. Okay, so after we make our target directory, we also need to make sure we have our target file. That means we need to combine the directory and the file name together. Unless you want to rename it, then you can change the name however you want. You'll see why that doesn't really matter what we change it to, as long as you have a way to reference back to it. So we're going to go target file. Now I'm actually not going to go off the base name of the file name, which we have, sorry, I don't have that open, uh, which we have right here. I'm actually just going to do the name plus timestamp. Or, well, I'm going to do the timestamp plus name just to know when it was uploaded and how it happened. So we're going to go right here. We're going to go target directory. Do -do -do. And we're going to go time. Then from there, we need to go doop. I'm going to set a dash. I'm just spacing these out so you can see where I'm spacing everything. And then we're just going to grab the name of it. So we're going to go files name. Instead of typing that all out again, we're just going to go right there. And go name. All right. So that means it's gonna, instead of having just G crop, it's going to actually say what the timestamp is on the server that it was uploaded. Dash G dash crop dot whatever. Since I'm uploading this file, and I'm not done change that. Uh, another thing to do is if you don't want it to have the same extension that it's currently showing, you can go base name. It's a command. I'll highlight that here. You can actually go base name. Whew, excuse me. Oh, you get day from it. There we go. So you can go base name, files, upload me, name. All right. Now, after I set up where I need everything to go, what I wanted to name it, and etc., I have to now do a check. So I already did my check, seeing make sure it was submitted. That's before I set up everything. Now I need to check, get the actual image size if I really wanted to, which I already did, so I'm not going to worry about that command. From there, I need to make sure the target file does not already exist. So I'm going to be using if file exists. We're actually going to do an exclamation in front because I don't want it to exist. And then what I need to do is target the file. So it's going to be target file. So that means I can continue. So what I just did is set up the size, check my directory, and then I checked and make sure there's no file already existing with that timestamp dash whatever. So whatever this target file is, I'm making sure it doesn't exist. Now the next check I'm going to have to do is depends if I want to set a limit to the file size. I can say, oh, if I want the file. So let's just go right here. Let's go file. Just like we did before, we want to make sure it's not a bigger than, it's not too big. So we're going to go do. I'm going to set some notes here. I haven't done that for you guys. Now that's probably a little bit helpful. Check if destination in file already exists. Okay. So we're going to go files upload me size. Now we're going to say it has to be less than mm, let's go 5,000. So I should have three and no sorry 5 million so one two three. I want to make sure it's always smaller than that file size. 
So I already checked to make sure it's bigger than zero. Now I'm checking to make sure it's less than a certain size. Next thing I need to do here is we're going to check and check the extension. So how do we check the extension? Uh, that's the fun part. We're going to actually have to use a command, which I'm going to actually set right here. Git file extension. There we go. So well, we're going to go extension is equal to path info and then we're going to go target file target file and path info now please be aware I have not moved this file <laughs> so that's going to be the fun part I have not moved this file here so uh, then we're going to go uh, what is it what is it what is it it's a uh, path info underline extension there we go. Now I need to make sure this extension already exists. So I want to make sure it's in allowed, I guess would be the correct way of doing that. And to do that, you can do this a couple of ways. I'm using an older method of checking the file extension. There's newer ones, and they're much more secure than what I'm doing because you can actually follow these extensions what I'm showing. But I just want to give you the understanding. So we're going to go allowed extension. We're going to make that into an array. I'm going to go here. Okay, we want JPG, we want JPEG, uh, PNG, and let's go GIF. Those are the only extensions we're going to allow as a file. So now we need to check and make sure that a file extension is correct. So we're going to go if is in, uh, whoops if in array. So now we need to find our needle. So we're going to go extension. And then now we need to define the haystack, which is our allowed extensions. And as I as you see, I did not close my bracket. So what we just did now is said, okay, we can allow JPG, JPEG, PNG, and GIF. Before then, we actually pulled out the extension from that actually target file. And then finally, we're checking it within our in array. So we're saying this needle, so whatever was EXT, the extension of the file we uploaded, if it's in the allowed extensions, continue right here. If not, we're going to set it else here real quick. And I'm just going to go echo not allowed. Okay. So now we did the, some basic checks. Now the next thing we need to do is actually upload the file. So we need to find the temp directory where it's at and then push it over to the target directory that, where we want it. Just create it. So we're going to go move uploaded file. Now we need the string file name and set its destination. So we're going to go up here and we're going to go files. And the only reason why I know where all this is is because I have my little array here and it, it gives me all my details of what I've uploaded. And we need to use temp name. And we want to move it to our destination, which is our target file. Now, just because the name is gcrop in the temp, or in this case, the temp was php da 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 da, that doesn't mean anything. All that means is that that's where it's stored. Now, when I set my destination, so I'm rename that, remaster it, and whatever. It's like you copying a file over and then renaming it. It's the same concept that we're doing here, but instead it's just being done in one process. Instead of having to copy, paste, and then wait a second, and then after it's moved over, you set whatever you need as the name or extension or whatever, whatever else you do to it. But one thing I do need to do is set this as an if. The reason why I'm setting this as an if because it will return true when it's done. If it doesn't, it's going to give me an error. And we're going to go echo file, my bad, file uploaded. Now why wouldn't it upload? It can not upload for multiple things. Security issue, uh, it's been turned off, move upload file is not allowed uh, you can have a lot of different issues but I'm just going to go off of destination uh, cannot move to destination but my echo is going to be for the else on this we're going to go whoop, could not move to destination and since I didn't change my privileges I don't know if I'm actually getting an error on this server that I'm using for the temp of displaying this for you but I'd like to change over my error so upload complete so we're going to go upload complete equals true. 
And then we're going to go down here, and I actually want to redo this. We're going to go PRE, PRE. I want this to do a print R. Actually, I'll just copy this right here. Uh, we're going to actually remove that now. Okay, we want to do a print R of the upload. And then we want to know the target destination. So target is what? Uh, target file. Target file. I can do this because it's actually defined after it runs. So that means the complete was good. So let's go right here and let's go refresh. We'll try to refresh in here. Won't do anything because I don't have an upload set to that. And uh, IE will now allow you to repost. There we go. Can that move to destination? So I got an error. Boom. Undefined temp name on line 14. So if we go to line 14, there's my issue. I actually didn't finish out what I was trying to type, which was my bad on that part. And we're going to go right here. So my destination might not have been the issue. So let me set back my per uh, permissions here. Okay, permissions have been updated. So let's go back to this. And submit. Okay, temp name still cannot be found on basics 12. That's ah, TMP. And back to I can't spell again. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so my file was fully uploaded. I set it into the directory of upload uh, with the crowd. As you can tell, my issue, uh, the two issues I ran into is I didn't set the same here because I was not even calling the right thing. And then I set an E within the temp. So you need to make sure you set those correctly or you run into that same issue. So if I go back over here and click refresh and click upload, and I go into this file, boom, my file is fully uploaded. Now there's more things you can do. You can do a resize and all that. And I'm not done going into that detail. I just wanted to show you how to upload through a form. If there's any questions about this, uh, please just send me a message, uh, comment. Anything you can do to try to get a hold of me to get help or know somebody that might help you, feel free. Uh, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and enjoy. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a comment or uh, like below. Um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel, click subscribe. And if you would like to watch another video, there's some videos listed down below here. And thanks for watching.